Hi everybody and welcome back to the second and final class in your uh, ribbon storage tutorial. And um, we're going to decorate ours today. So I hope that you have prepared yours either by spray painting it or acrylic painting or doing whatever you were going to do to it. And today we're going to show you how to decorate it. You can decorate it any way that you like. I am just going to simply show you how I am going to do mine. Mine is going to be using a sheet of paper that I purchased um, a few months back and using things that I already have had in my stash. I didn't purchase anything to make this particular um, storage unit. So everything that I have here is something that I already had on hand. I'm going to be adhering my uh, paper to my box with score tape. I'm going to use this lace here. And then I'm also going to use these little flower uh, uh, beaded pearl things. These I had picked up from Linda when she had bought a whole bunch of them from a thrift store. And these are in a really, really pretty orange color that match the orange in this paper. And this paper is my mind's eye, I think. Yep, and it's called Bloom and Grow. And it's one of the ones that I picked up that were six for a dollar at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so I have prepared my box, and as you can see, I had to redo it because I took a, I don't know what I was thinking, but I had already started to decorate it, and I'm like, wait a minute, I can't do that, so I had to take it apart, and some of my, um, the glue, the tape that I had used tore off my box, so I just covered it up with a uh, black marker, and we're good to go. All right, so the first things first, we need to measure where we want to put our fabric. I know that I want my fabric to be on the front two pieces here, and then I also know that I want it to cover up the back por portion as well. So first things first, I'm going to measure these uh, front pieces, and I want to cover them with my little dog barking in the background. She's mad because I think one of the bigger dogs stole her bone. Okay, so this is exactly one inch, and I am going to go just a smidge more because I want to be able to cover it on the back. I want to just take the paper and just wrap it around. So I'm going to do an inch and a half. So I'm going to cut two of them. I'm going to make sure that top one is the same it is. I'm going to cut two strips at an inch and a half by 12, and we'll see how long this is. And I can cut it down when I'm done. And this is 11 inches long, so I'll go two or an inch and a half by 11. So first things first, I'll cut my two strips at eight and a half, or I'm sorry, an inch and a half. Okay, and then I'm going to cut them both down to 11, and I'll just put them together and cut them both at the same time. I always cut like this. I never usually cut one piece of paper at a time. This um, Fisker's Trimmer will go through several, several sheets of cardstock and many more sheets of pattern paper at one time. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure this fits. Get this out of the way for a second. Okay, we don't want it to hang over at all. We want it to be uh, probably right there. I'm, I think I'm gonna cut just another sliver off because it's not gonna turn over just like I so want. So I'm just gonna cut just a little sliver off one side and that should make it perfect for me to be able to fold over right in between this portion here. We want to get it right in between that. So let me just make sure. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fold it here. Make sure I got everything even. And I'm just going to give it a fold there so I know where my line is at. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my score tape down. And you can use any adhesive. Hot glue will work perfectly here. Um, I'm just using score tape because it's what I had handy, uh, and I didn't think my hot glue gun was all the way heated up just yet, so when we go to put the trims and everything on, we'll have to use the hot glue gun. So I'm going to put two lines of tape, and then I'm also going to come back with one for the inside. Now I had picked up this score tape on eBay 
uh, last year, I think, and I just haven't used it all. I do use it quite a bit. I just It just takes a long time to go through it. It's a really good bargain. All right, so I'm going to take off my paper here on the glue on the on the tape oh my little dog she's mad somebody took her bone she won't stop barking either until uh, they either give it back or one of the adults goes and gets it for her come on there we go maybe yep there we go okay so now we're going to go ahead and adhere our paper. Just make sure that you get it even. You want it to look nice. Okay. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do our bottom one. Same thing, I'm just going to measure it. And I don't know if I need to cut a smidge off of this one or not. Let's see. Yes, I Okay. All right. So now we've got our two front covers on. Now we want to go ahead and measure for the back. So I'm just going to measure here and I'm at two and about seven eighths. So I'm going to go ahead and do this at three. I'll do it at three and a half. So I need two pieces of paper at three and a half by 11. Okay. So we'll cut it out. Three and a half. And another one at three and a half. Okay. And then we'll cut them both down to 11. All right, put the trimmer away so it's out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and we will make sure that this is gonna work. See if I have to cut any extra off and it doesn't look like I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fold this over so I can get my mark and I will put my tape down. And I just eyeball the measurements for the tape. There isn't, I mean, honestly, to me, I don't feel like I have to be super exact. I know that this is going to not take a lot of wear and tear because it's just going to be me getting in and out of it. So, you know, if you're, I didn't even bother doing the back because I knew I was going to cover that up. Um, if you know, if your kids are going to be in and out of your ribbon storage or whatever, you want to, you know, really kind of tape it down good, especially if you have younger children who are just getting into crafting, you know, you want to encourage their crafting behavior. So you want everything that you use to be sturdy for them. So just tape the heck out of it, you know. The cost of a little bit of tape is worth it when it comes to encouraging kids to craft, I think. Okay, now I'm just going to, oops. You do have a few seconds with the score tape to kind of reposition if you don't get it quite right the first time. There's just that one little piece right there that I need to get in there. Uh, so, you know, that's, I kind of like, that's, uh, that's one of the reasons I like the score tape as opposed to the red line tape. I mean, I like them both. I think I'm just going to cut just a smidge off this. Um, I like them both, but the score tape isn't quite as sticky as the red line. So you just get that extra second, I think, before you press it down all the way for, before the sticky really, really starts to work. Okay. So now I've got my top one done. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this bottom one. And the same thing, I think I'm just going to cut me a smidge off here.
Okay, now we've got our box completely covered with our paper. So now we need to decide what we're going to decorate it with. Okay, so I know that I'm going to use this lace here that I picked out earlier. Hopefully that there's big, yeah, there's big enough pieces. And I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it across the middle, I think. Lay it across the middle, and then I'm going to cover the middle where the holes are at with this um, flower trim. Let's see how that looks. Remember, I just wanted this to be simple. I wasn't going for any kind of like, uh, you know, super decorated um, piece of storage. I just wanted something simple and easy and, um, you know, that would look nice in my room. Okay, now I think I'm going to adhere my lace down with the red line tape because because of the holes that are in this, I don't think hot glue is going to work well for it. So I think I'm going to use the red line for this. And I know that that's going to hold my... I know that that's going to hold my lace down. Okay. So... All right. Now remember, you don't get any additional time with red line tape, really. it's Once it's stuck, it's stuck. And if you try and pull it up, it will rip your paper. So you need to kind of get it right the first time. Boy, I was way off on that one. <laughs> Okay, let me pull my sticky pieces off here. Okay, then we'll go ahead and we'll lay down our ribbon. This ribbon is a little stretchy and I want to be careful because I don't want to stretch it out of shape. So all of you with teenage daughters, has the prom craze started for you? My daughter is a junior this year, and it's all she can talk about. I swear, every day we have a conversation about prom. And, uh, you know, our prom isn't until right at the very beginning of May, so we still have about three months. <laughs> and, um, oh my God, if it isn't Oh, I want to go dress shopping. I want to go dress shopping. Let's go. Look at this dress. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I want one just like this. Or this is the dress I want. And it's like every day there's a dress that she wants and it's different than the one that she wanted the day before. And uh, I keep telling her that, um, you know, she needs to try on a bunch of dresses first and find the shape and the one that she really likes. And then she can pick her dress design from there. And uh, I think I finally got it through her head that that's the way that she needs to, to go. Because this weekend, they're going to, her and her friend are going to go to some dress shops up by the city. And uh, they are going to uh, try on a few dresses so that they know what kind of shape that they want. So I'm kind of excited about that. I, I loved prom and I thought it was a great time. And, you know, it's just, oh, they're getting so much older. I don't think my husband is too uh, excited about prom. <laughs> okay. So now I am using hot glue to adhere these down. Okay. And I'm just using on the ribbon, there was a or on the lace, I'm sorry, there was like a little ribbon guide and I'm using that as my guide to help it, help get it straight. Seems to, seems to have worked pretty good. Okay, so now I've got that on there and let's go ahead and we'll put the second piece of ribbon on. All 
right. Now that we've got that on, I feel like it just needs something else. So I'm going to get a couple flowers, see what we can do with them. I think I'm going to try out the ones that I purchased yesterday from Michaels and see how good they stain up. I'm going to try the frayed burlap distress stain and see what we come out with. I like the color and um, you know then we can use these the little orange um, flowers as the centers. Probably give these a good spray with some glimmer spritz too. They take color. These flower petals take cover, color really well. I'm really surprised about that. They have the, um, they're kind of not the right, I don't, they're like, they feel funny. You know, they don't feel like flowers, like silk flower petals. They feel like plastic almost, but they seem to be taking the color really well. So you need to check your Michaels out because these flowers, you got 240 flowers of this size for $249. That is a steal of a deal. Let's see, there's three, six. We'll do eight and maybe we'll do a folded flower. Get two flowers total. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give these guys a hit with. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to use the gold. Let me get a paper towel and get the A. Uh oh. There we go. Whoa! Did you see how fast they moved? Wow, look at what that does. It makes them spotted. Huh. Interesting. That's an interesting effect. Kind of like it. Okay, let me heat these up and we'll come right back. Okay, we're going to make just a little flower out of these petals for the sides of these uh, boxes here. So I'm just going to do a little bit of folding and hot gluing and we'll see what we come up with. And I'm not going for anything too elaborate. I just wanted a little bit of a puffy flower here. And all I'm doing is folding these in half and then gluing them down. And then we'll put a little center in them and call them finished. Oops. my hand. No. I should be using my tweezers here. Make this a lot easier. There we go. Okay, so now we've got one of the flowers. Okay, so now we've got our two flowers done, and we're just going to go ahead and put them on opposite ends of the shelf. Lots of glue strings with this stick of glue I have in there today. And put this one down here. Now, if you wanted to put like a little saying or anything like that on it, go right ahead. Like the last one that I did, I put frills right up here because you know it's kind of frilly I think I put frilly because you know lace and ribbon is kind of frilly and I thought that that would look really cute so you know you guys go ahead and you decorate it as elaborately as you want remember I just wanted something simple and this is what I came up with 
So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this class. And uh, if you make this storage or something similar to that, I hope that you'll do a video response because I would love, love, love to see what you guys have done. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.